G'day YouTube, one MJ here and welcome back. Alright, Monday afternoon here in Australia, market down, really just kind of travelling sideways. It was down a little bit lower, I think it was 1.65, 1.63 trillion yesterday, so up ever so slightly from there, but down in sort of the 24 hours. Bitcoin dominance has risen ever so slightly. Uh, actually, I think this is down just a bit. I think this was 39.88% yesterday. Uh, again, volume uh, disappearing quite fast. Bitcoin seems to be holding at 35,000 at the moment. So again, uh, was the bottom in or is this just a bit of a bounce? And ETH gas prices are super cheap right now. Well, not super cheap, but definitely cheap compared to where they've been. All right. Is this going to hold? Is this just a bit of a relief rally before we go down lower? That's going to be the real question. We'll have a look at that. But, right, markets traveled sideways. Has anything done well in the last 24 hours? All right, XFIN uh, got a little bit of a bounce there, 8%. Adam, 7%. Osmos, Osmosis, sorry, 6%. So, look, we've had a couple of small bounces from things here but nothing really kind of too crazy that makes me think that, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just still worried. I'll let you know straight away, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think the bottom is in just yet. It could be. I think we might see another day or two uh, of more downside. How much more downside will really be the question because I think it's waiting on this big meeting, the FMOC meeting or whatever it is that's happening in the States on Tuesday, Wednesday. So we still got a couple of days to go. I think there'll probably be some more downside over the next few days and about the day before it happens is when you're going to see if there's going to be a bounce because there'll be insider information. That's always the way it works. And if there's going to be a bounce, that's probably where you're going to see it. But you might see a bit of a relief rally. Again, we might sort of pump up for a few days and then it dumps all back down again, particularly, again, if people are suspecting that it's going to be worse than what people think. So just be very careful over the next days. Uh, next few days is what I would say. Any kind of pumps, just, yeah, be careful. They may just be, again, a bit of relief rally before it dumps even further again. And there's reasons I th uh, I'm suspecting that, and I'll show you very, very shortly. But we can see a couple of gains. What about losses, though? What's being brutalized still, or has it stabilized? Right, not near protocol getting hammered. Theta's been really smacked around. That is, yep, really struggled. Celsius down a little bit. The graph has really gotten knocked around as well. Solana getting absolutely murdered. And I'm going to bring you a story uh, about Solana very shortly that makes me worried. A sandbox, really a lot of the coins that you know did really well through the uh, sort of season are really getting... They're getting... <laughs> uh, re-evaluated uh, on you know seeing who's going to stick around who thinks you know long term and who's just here short term and yeah then out the door so you know I like Theta I got some Theta I'm quite down on my Theta I'm not planning on selling but I am going to have to have a look into whether I think it is something that I want to add more to it's not that I'm going to sell what I have right now uh, I'll at least hold until the next kind of you know, bull market and then sort of see where it's at. But it's whether I'll add to it. It's just the whole streaming service. It's a very niche market within a very niche market. So that's the only thing I'm thinking about Theta. It's not that I don't like the project. I just, you know, it might have been one of those kind of hype things. Again, I like the people behind it and the team and everything, but it's just whether it's going to be something that's really going to do well in the future. We'll decide about whether I'm going to want to add to my stack uh, in any kind of major way. Not that I am ad adding to my stack uh, of really anything at the moment. Like I said, a couple of coins here and there. I bought little bits and pieces, but it really was just a couple of nibbles here and there to see, you know, if we're near the bottom. Because if we're not, then okay, a few dollars will go down. But their projects are really like long term. Theta too new for me to really kind of put too much money into it. Uh, and Sol is another one. I have put a bit of money into it, not a lot, and I've really got hammered. Uh, I've been buying from sort of $200 going down, but the news about it is what worries me the most. And look, we'll have a look at that and then we'll come back to the rest of it. So Solana Network suffers yet another network outage and the DeFi users pay the price. So it's been down for 48 hours. But this time the users who took loans were forced 
to pay the price as they faced heavy liquidations. So people who were using Solent and things like that, they were going to get liquidated and had to add more funds. They weren't able to because the uh, network was down and Solana and Solent and that are looking into it, but it means they probably have to pay out a fair bit. So I think that will really affect the price. So I'm starting to question whether Solana is you know can live up to the hype now they are still early they're very early that's what you know everyone needs to remember this doesn't mean solana's dead and can't work but this is part of the problems you know solana was hyped up as this you know thing that was going to do so amazingly well and you know they're having some hiccups like everything did you know bitcoins had hiccups ethereum's had hiccups but solana really yeah it's getting tested big time at the moment and yeah, I don't know. I certainly won't be putting any more money into Solana at the moment, but I'll have to look at whether I want to, you know, because I'm already down on it, whether I want to just reconsider uh, my stance on Solana. I still like Solana. I like the team. I like the whole theory behind it, but they really are having some problems. Uh, and again, the good thing is I haven't put that much into Solana, so if it doesn't work out, it's not like... Uh, you know, <laughs> I can't pay the bills or anything like that, but it is a worry that they're having these kind of problems early. So something to consider. All right, Bitcoin, let's have a look. Seems to be holding at the moment. And again, this doesn't look too bad, but I am worried that it's just more of kind of this stuff. We might chop around here for a while. And that's because look at all the chop that we've got in and around here. Chop, 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 chop. Got a little bit of chop here. So I am worried that this is just a little bit of a chop before we start to come down to here. Now, no guarantees in life, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not offering you financial advice. That's all I'm looking at. So I'm not really doing any buy orders here. I've already had a couple of buy orders on the way down. Uh, now I'm really looking at setting a buy order uh, around about kind of 32,000, let's say 300-ish, thereabouts, 32,000, sorry, $32,230. I think that might be a place to have a look at because we might not make it down to there. But then I will start to have a look at down around the $30,000 exactly. And then again, this $28,000 mark just here, probably a little bit higher. I'd say around about twenty-eight. dollars 600 let's say i think that's where i might put another buy order and again just continually set buy orders all the way down to wherever it may go but that's what i'm looking at at the moment so this can still play out though maybe we've found the bottom because that pretty much came down to my target not quite exactly but thirty four thousand, and i did say the CME gaps 32.5 to 34.5 so that has been covered they don't have to come down and cover the entire gap they've just got to break into there and that's what it's done so we could get a pump up from here or we may fall lower that's what we're all really waiting to see right how's ethereum doing and again it's looking the same so both of these have had a bit of a relief rally a day where it went up but can it hold because they're already starting to claw back on some of that already and that's what has me worried and it's only earlier though so you know it still could definitely it's got a long way to go and so this could turn around as well these could turn green i just don't know We've got to remember it's sunday sort of evening uh stateside time we've got to wait and see whether monday is gonna be bullish uh, and again have a bit of a, a fake relief rally so we pump up and gets everyone's excited and then uh, we roll over because Basically, there's bad news to come uh, with that meeting. And remember, it's USA stateside time, Tuesday, Wednesday, that this thing is happening. So we might got we might not get the information, you know, the final kind of result until the Wednesday. But you can guarantee there'll be some interesting trading happening uh, just before then. And yeah, insider trading, people within that know. Uh, and I don't know exactly where to look and who to follow, but uh, you can just guarantee there'll be some people that'll make an absolute killing out of it because they'll be in the know. And look, it may be in the uh, crypto space that they buy up a whole lot because that was the bottom and they know this is about to get favorable regulation because there is a story over here, Biden administration to release executive order on crypto as early as February. Now, I know in Australia, they're currently looking to regulate it, and it all looks fairly favourable. That's not to say there won't be any strict regulations around certain things, but it does look like Australia wants to get on the front foot of this whole crypto narrative and be at the forefront of it. Do you think America is going to want to be left behind? I don't think they will want to be at all. I think there will be 
generally favorable uh, crypto regulation for America, but it's just not all going to be great. There's going to be parts of it that'll be good and there's parts of it that won't be bad. Could be really stiff uh, regulation around stable coins and then, you know, all sorts of stuff. SEC coming after, you know, securities and all those kind of things. So it's just something to keep in mind. So I get the feeling like this will be favorable in general, not just all of it though. There'll be parts again that won't. And again, that could be what's going to turn it around. And then that goes back to here. I did say sort of around maybe sort of February, March, spot Bitcoin ETF approval. So we could just bounce around here for a while. And then in the next kind of couple of weeks, we get that sort of V-shaped recovery. I don't think we're going to get a V-shaped recovery. I think we might get, a again, a bit of a relief rally and a sell-off if things are bad. And if things are good, then we just get a bit of a pump back up. But I don't think it'll go too high. I think there's still too many questions hanging around all sorts of things. And look, maybe Wednesday it is that V-shaped recovery uh, and everything's just back to the races. But also the Fed still need to look after themselves with inflation and that. So I think there will be some rate uh, hikes and things like that. And the tapering definitely will occur. It's just, you know, how... How much tapering will they do? Because the stock market and that's still being brutalized. And that's what I want to look at uh, right now. Like, this is what makes me think we're not quite done yet because there's been no relief rally yet in the stock market, still going down. Dow Jones, still going down. NASDAQ had little bits and pieces there, but still going down. ASX has had a little bit here, but still not looking great. And the gold and silver index is going down as well. So that's what makes me think these little relief rallies, and they're already looking to fall over. Same in Ethereum. We had a little bit of a relief rally, and then it's already starting to fall over. I think there might be some more lows before we find the bottom. Not financial advice. I'm never going to give you that. I could be completely wrong. I have been wrong before. I will be wrong in the future. But like I said, I'm just starting to put some buy orders in. So I mean, for Ethereum at the moment, I would say somewhere around about here. I reckon 2,300. Uh, let's say 2,000. 320 looks like not a bad place to put a buy order in. Again, you want to be just above there. All right, so let's say, sorry, 2,335-ish. Again, it's because I'm using these here. You can see where these candle uh, bodies and that all kind of line up. You don't want to go by these wicks because there wasn't much in there, and it's basically where we are now. So I come down to where there's an actual candle close and go just ever so slightly above it. And then after that, again, you can come down to here. So there's another one about 21.45. So you want to go just above that. So I'd go 21.50. And again, keep finding places where you've got, you know, got here. Look, it meets up with here. It meets up with that. Meets up with some things over here and there. So again, that's another spot where I'd look to put one in. 19 sort of 70. And again, just keep finding spots to put in buy orders. Now, a lot of people, you know, there are, everyone's out there. How do you continually uh, buy the dip when it just keeps dipping? Because you're not throwing all your cash in at any one stage. If you've got $100 to buy the dip, put in $5 at here. Put in $5 here. Put in another $5 here. Put in another $5 here. Put in another sort of $5 down here. And that's how you've got money to buy the dip. And I know people are going to say, oh, but it's only $5. But you only had $100 to put in. So what do you expect? You know, It doesn't make any difference whether it's $1, $10, $100, $1 million. It still works out the same. It's just somebody had more money than the other person. But it's the percentage wise. So don't try and think you're going to find the exact bottom. Because like you might you know, use this line and you think that's the exact bottom. And then it only makes it down to here. So you didn't have a buy order in here. You had one up here, which wasn't the exact bottom. You had another one down here, which wasn't the exact bottom. And it bounced somewhere in here. That's trading and investing, ladies and gentlemen, trying to read charts and that. You're unlikely to pick it perfect. But then if you think it's definitely happening, you know, somewhere between here and here, and then it just keeps going lower. Hence why you've got to go back through the charts. Like, I'm not saying this might be it. Let's... The old all-time high was about sort of 1300 so it was around here. Down here might be another good place to put a buy order. Maybe everything really has changed and now these, uh, you know, the big cryptos like Ethereum and 
Bitcoin are going to go below previous all-time highs. So then maybe you've got to start to look at, all right, where's the next uh, price thing down here and where's the next one down here? It's all things you need to consider. I don't have the answers for you, ladies and gentlemen. I can just tell you what I'm doing and what I'm seeing and what I'm looking at in the charts. It's a scary time, but as I said you know, yesterday, that saying is, you know, be fearful when people are greedy and greedy when people are fearful. So everyone's fearful at the moment. Uh, Warren uh, Buffett and that, now I'm not saying they're even buying in at these prices. They probably, you know, if they think this is the bottom, I'm sure they are. If they think it's going much lower, then they're probably not. But they're not going to have an exact price. They're not going to go, right, yeah, well, Ethereum, not that they're buying Ethereum, is going to 17.25.75. So we're buying at 17.26. No, they would be, again, layering in in all sorts of positions all the way down, and that's how they would be doing it. And so if you want to be rich, you've got to kind of emulate and copy what the rich do. Now, not exactly, because it just doesn't work like that. Not every rich person is doing exactly the same thing, uh, finding the same prices, but they are doing similar things, and that's how they work it. They layer in on the way down, trying to find good buy points, and sometimes, you know, none of the three that they put in will get triggered again let's say this is the bottom but they think it's lower they might have some set in here and then some set in here and then some set in here and none of them get triggered because this was the bottom and they just didn't know that you're not going to pick them all but you can try and improve your chances of doing better in markets and it's by doing things like that but again ladies and gentlemen i just want to stress it's not financial advice you've got to go and learn this stuff yourself i can tell you that that's what I'm doing because that's what I've learned from you know watching other people and you know reading books and vlogs and reddits and twitters and you know all sorts of things and that's how they do it the people who've done really well that's how they do it so that is what I'm copying now they're not giving me the exact numbers they've just told me that that's what they look for where's a whole lot of confirmation all right well there's some here because it marries up with here 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 so I'm guessing somewhere around about here $1,941 ish maybe a little bit higher maybe a little bit lower again let's just say 1900 and we had 40 and that's 80 so 1960 dollars might not be a bad place to put a buy order in for ethereum because if it goes down there well then it's a whole lot cheaper than buying it at 2435 where it is right now but it may not be the bottom you may have to stagger them all the way down to some crazy low prices but I can guarantee you people never thought they were going to be buying Bitcoin for $3,200 after it hit $20,000. So who knows how low all of this stuff can go. But again, I am worried that these are still relief rallies because there's been no bounce yet in any of these. But don't get me wrong, they will have some bounces. We just haven't seen it yet. Really, the ASX is the only one that is looking like a little bit of a bounce. But will this hold? That is the million dollar question. All right, stay safe. Be kind to one another. Pretty hard to be on that gain train at the moment unless you're shorting. And congratulations to you, but I don't like to short all long. I just like to invest. And I'll see you next time.